for the awful email that somebody sent regarding Dillian White a couple of weeks ago. Right? See, I don't see all the awful ones now. I just get forward of the good ones because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see rubbish. So, the awful email that somebody sent me, right? I get on well with, Ma with Mark Tibbs and Jimmy Tibbs. So why would you say all them horrible things that you said? You know who you are. Now, point I'm trying to make is this. All them people that say all these things on social media, you're welcome on my channel anytime. Now, to get on my channel, what you have to do is send an email to porkycorner at mail.com. Let me repeat that again. Porkycorner at mail.com. There's no S in porkies on the email address because I spelt it wrong then I want to join. But porkycorner at mail.com. Send me a little video clip saying I'd like to come on your channel. That's all you need. Save all this back and forward and paranoia and all that. I don't want people on the channel, right, that are going to come on and then scream abuse and this and that. Because there's going to be no live channel. Because looking at the live chat that we do, some of the things that go on there, people going on about the size of people's willies and putting it in other people and some oh, just filth right what sort of people do that how sick are you people out there and you got to touch a class now it's disgusting some of the stuff that Carl Frotch gets sent as well gets sent as well is disgusting but I hope I've come across all right in this video because after yesterday I'm 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 ready for packing channeling, but a couple of people have I've spoke to a couple of people close to me and I feel all right now. I feel all right, but can I just point out that cards on table? There's no accounts on Twitter from me. There's none on Facebook. There's just YouTube. So don't believe anything that you see. But all these people that do it and are into all that, go get help. You can get help. You know, go and get help. That's all I'm going to say. But me and Dennis are stronger than ever. Uh, the team that Dennis has got around him now is... It's stronger than he's ever had. He hasn't got the stable that he had. He got, I mean, he had a world-class fighter in Clinton Woods. He had Ricky Hatton. They're at the top of the game. They're big, big players in the game. Clinton Woods were in the mix with them all, wanted for, for years. From 02 till 09, seven year. He had 15 fights, nine of them were world title fights, and he won four, lost five, lo lo he won four, did he? No, sorry, did he win four, lose five, and draw one? I forget now, he, but he had, in fact, I'm going to have a look, I'm going to have a look, where's my glasses? Let me just have a look at this, what Clinton's record is. Before I go here, before I get into the beast, before I go into the night rider car, let me just have a look. I look like a nonsense these glasses, I think they do, don't they? All these, all money for these Oakley glasses. All that money and I look like a And then you get a stupid uh, optician that puts jam jar, jam jar uh, bottoms in. Making me look like a nonce. Right, Clinton Woods. Clinton Woods. Right. Clinton Woods box wreck. 42, 5 and 1. Now the world title fights, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God look how many belts he fought Roy Jones for. Two, three, four, five, six. He fought Roy Jones for six world titles. IBO, IBF, WBA, WBC. WBF or something. Six world title fights there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All except the WBO and IBO. You can't really count IB. You can't really count the WBF, can you? Or the IBA, but you can count one, two. You fought for the well, same as Joshua, in it. He's got four of the five belts. Roy Jones had four of the five. The big five is what we know. We call it. Um, that reminds me, I'm going to do a video on it. Uh, the big five is obviously the, the, the five belts, you know, WBC, WBA, 
uh, WBO, IBO, IBF. They're your big five. Roy Jones fought Clinton for four of the five. Sorry, Clinton fought Roy for four of the five. So in that period from 02 till 09, Clinton fought Roy Jones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten world title fights! Ten world title fights over nine year beating four world champions. Glenn Johnson, he beat him and he drew with him. And he beat the other world champions, uh, obviously on, on the on the list here. So he beat he's beat four world champions in his career, but he had ten world title fights. And in that period he had 15 fights and Dennis obviously had to bring him back didn't he once he got beat. What a great story and do you know Clinton Woods? He was with Dennis from the beginning to the end and I think it's probably going to go down as one of the great, great, great stories in boxing. Great. I think that's a great story. Beginning to end and I always used to say to Carl Frotch, oh I'm buzzing Carl. You've been with Mick Hennessy all this time and you've just beat Pascal. I was buzzing, beginning to end. And then obviously he fought Darrell, then he fought Kessler. When he lost to Kessler, the writing were on the wall, wasn't it? It, it were, uh, I think the writing on the wall with Mick Hennessy were, uh, he never had the re he never fought Arthur Abraham in Monaco, did he? It got called off, didn't it? It got called off at 48 hours notice. So I think the writing were on the wall then, but end of day, uh, beginning to end. But boxing is not like that, is it? I want to see fighters from beginning to end. That's what I want to see. I like loyalty. I like it. Look, Tar Tarver is cloud. He's for Antonio Tarver, Roy Jones. Glenn Johnson, he had a draw with Glenn Johnson and he had, of course he had that loss against Dave Starry. He's only lost in good company. Dave Starry fought for a world title. So Clinton Wood's story is fantastic and he never bigs his set up on social media. But what they achieved together is great. Ricky Hatton, he was with Dennis. Dennis brought Vegas with him. Jamie McDonald, they never lost a fight with Dennis. People need to remember that. People need to remember that. Well, like I said, it's it's boxing, isn't it? It's the boxing industry. Uh, just one of them things, isn't it? I don't know whether to just upload these here now, or just do it do it at home. I don't know why I'm going to play it. So I've got these three videos here, and I've got five from last night. So there's eight videos to go up. Eight. So. There's going to be some uploading to do, isn't there? I'm probably best off doing it at home. Could do it all here though, could I? I'm like that. Uh, now I'll do it. I'll wait. I'm going to make everybody wait. It'll do them good. It'll do them all good. There's plenty of videos to go watch. But you're all in for a treat. I think I've got everything, haven't I? Did I pick that money up? Yeah. So. It's all good positive stuff. I keep forgetting things. I'm, uh, I don't know what I, oh, I forgot. Forgot top of me uh, camera. I'm suffering from short term memory loss. Uh, everybody knows I left my kids in McDonald's, didn't I? Luckily I went back. Not good, is it? They were roaring. Like that. They were in the play area, never come out for half an hour. Anyway, I, I don't know what had happened, but I ended up walking out. I thought, I'm sure I forgot something. Yeah, I forgot the kids. It's up to him if you don't want to put it in, put it in factory. You should put it inside, shouldn't you, a car like that? Other than that, I'm alright. 
nice Rolls Royce there from my uh, next door neighbour. He's got office next door to me. Nice guy. We just lock up. We're doing alright. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you down there, yeah? Right. Now we'll go in, we'll go in there. Oh, he wants to come for a game. Yeah. Take his money off him. Take his brawler off him. I'm sure there's something I've forgot. Well, that's phone. Got a bottle of water. Uh, I think that's about it really. You've had a good do at me today. We've opened up on a few things. Like I said, I've got no to hire. Who knows what I am? I'm not spectacular. I'm, I'm sure there's something I forgot. So this is what it does to you when you're on tablets. You're on everything, aren't I? I'm always on summer. Dependent on summer. Oh, that's what I forgot. I knew I'd forgot some of that. Oops. Forgot to put padlock on. useless aren't I? Useless. Can't see. That's better, isn't it? Always summer, aren't they? Michael, if you're watching, uh, this should be out tomorrow. So I'm going out now, it'll be out later. Uh, I'll see you on Monday. I'll pick you up from the train station. I'm going to take you to Ingall Gym, Dennis's Gym, see John Fuchs and his fighters, Mick Wales Gym, Glyn Rose Gym, Richard Towers Gym. And you're best off going back on Wednesday. We can get a lot done, and I'll take you for a bite as well. All right, Michael. That better. That's better, isn't it? So that's about it, really. We're gonna crash here, don't we? That will be a big deal, won't it? I'll tell you what, they're not a bad car, them other than Rolls Royce. But only thing is, look at wheels on it. You know, the only thing is we're having a Rolls Royce, it's running a minute. Even if you're a millionaire, you wouldn't, uh, if you're a millionaire, right, you wouldn't be happy, would you? Forking out 
uh, for a car that does seven or eight at gallon. Because every mile that you're doing in it, it's costing you 90 pence, isn't it? So everywhere you go, it's 90 pence. So why why buy one? Even if you're a millionaire, you wouldn't let government take liberties with you, would you? I don't. I never really got that. I don't get that. So tired here. So that's about it, really. I'm gonna go on now. Get me queue. I'm looking forward to boxing this year now. I've got a few things off my chest today. Everything's going great with channel. And like I said, I want people to back the channel. And there's people who do want to come on channel, but they also want to work with Eddie Earn. Look, Eddie Earn don't care about you. He cares about getting money in. Eddie Earn has set up his family, right? He's set up his family and he's set up next generation and next generation and next generation and next generation and good luck to him. What I admire about Eddie Earn the most, I admire his work ethic but don't tell me that it's hard work what he's doing, right? He's talking into a camera all day, all he's doing is promoting himself. So what he does Eddie, he gets everywhere, Eddie Earn is everywhere. Eddie, what Eddie Hearn does, he is in. He's promoting himself, he's in the boxing business, so what he needs to do is get himself out there. So whenever you turn on internet, all you see is Eddie Hearn. All you see is Eddie Hearn. If he's gonna pal you up on YouTube, it's because you do views. Now, if I had a million subscribers, I won't go anywhere near them. I don't even want him on my channel. I want him to answer these questions, but he's not going to answer them, is he? He's not going to answer them. Get in your lane, love! And your Citroen C1. Do you know who I am? Look, at the end of the day, right, Eddie Earn is not going to come on Porky's Corner, is he? He's not going to put his son in that situation. Sometimes people don't put themselves in a situation where they're going to be vulnerable, do they? It'd only be like me, if I had a beef with somebody and they want me to have a do with them, for instance, if somebody had a problem with me, and they said, yeah, come down to my local and I'll have, have you a straight fight. What, with all the pals there? You're not gonna do all that, are you? You sort it on your own if you've got beef with somebody, don't you? That's what happens. But it is what it is, isn't it? It's, it's life, isn't it? But I respect somebody more for pulling me on their own. I've got respect for them. And I have respect for a lot of people in boxing. Do you know Joe Gallagher? Dennis once says to me, What are you doing? In your lane. Oh, I just stalled it. Look, Dennis once says to me, Oh, you don't need to hammer Joe Gallagher, Russ. He's a good trainer. So yeah, but Dennis, end of the day, right, he's also a trainer manager. A manager should not be allowed to be a trainer, in my opinion. Do you know why that is? You've got a conflict of interest. Robert McCracken is not the manager for Anthony Joshua. Robert McCracken wasn't the manager for Carl Froch. Do you see where I'm coming from? And what did they do? Ended up pay-per-view stars. They were the biggest stars in the country at the time. Froch were massive in England, weren't they, at one point? Anthony Joshua's massive, isn't he? But McCracken don't manage him, does he? All these fighters who think they can, all these tra all these sorry managers who want to be trainers as well, because that's what it is. They start out as one or other. Joe Gallagher started out as a trainer before you know, before long, he's wanted to take over, isn't he? That's what happens, and they only have the best interests at heart. That's why their fighters don't fight anybody. Who's the best win that Joe Gallagher's got on his record as a trainer? That's because he's putting his manager's head on and he's thinking about his cut. Whereas, if I were manager for Callum Smith, and I'm not going to be, but if I were, I'd be saying, Callum, you've got to fight David Benavitez. You've got to build a legacy. You're already worth millions. Now he's had a taste of millions, Callum. He, that's all they want, they want millions. Callum Smith needs to fight somebody with a heartbeat. 
Your problem, Callum, come see me. So far, there's only two people that have pulled me for things I've said on the channel. And they're both from the same gym, but I respect them. How's about that? And respect with me is earned, let me tell you. You've got to earn it. If I give somebody respect, that's good. But I can assure you this. By end of March, April time, you're going to see a lot of people hanging out at back of old Porky. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You're going to see it happen because the channel is on the up and up. And how pretty sad it is that I've had to celebrate on my own today with a triple whiskey. How pretty sad that that is. Sad. I'm going out for a game of snooker with four people now, oh, eight boxing. They hate it with a passion. They don't watch it. They watch rugby and a bit of football and rugby and a bit of MMA. I mean, sheesh, MMA? Not for me, MMA, but I respect the people that do it. But I, I, I'm boxing, aren't I, through and through. I can't get involved in other sports, but I respect that. Respect them who do it. But so far, all the two people, do you know what I mean? Tommy Frank's not said a word to me once when I said he's fighting a dosser. Tommy's in with a dosser and bloody bloody should fight Sonny Edwards. Tommy Frank's not pulled me once, his trainer has, and I like his trainer, and we all get on. I me, mean, I don't think Tommy likes me though, but I'm not in this business to have people that like me. Who cares? I like a lot of people around Tommy, and I like Tommy, but I have to have an opinion, don't I? My favourite person out of that gym, I like Glyn, Fuki and Speedy, Sam Sheedy. I like Sheedy, I like him a lot. I think I like, I like him. I was heartbroken when he lost in the Cardiff against Tommy Langford because I thought he nicked it. Or heartbroken. He's a nice kid. He's one of boxing's nice guys. Good family man. And I'd love to do an interview with Sam Sheedy. Sit him down for half an hour. This is a Commonwealth champion. He'll go down in history, ain't he, Sheedy? He'll go down as winning a belt that Michael Watson and Nigel Ben won. Commonwealth, a Commonwealth title is not to be sniffed at. It's not a British though, is it? But it goes to a bigger area, but the British belt's got a bit more polish about it, and it is the best looking belt in boxing. And if you've got a British title on mantelpiece at home, it's. I tell you what, honestly. Do you know what, Ray? I once had Josh Wales' British title on my shoulder, and I had. Uh, Liam Cameron's Commonwealth belt on the other shoulder. I felt 10 foot tall, I was like that. Oh. Big Pork is here with belts! He's got Commonwealth and British on his shoulder! But they're not his. Someone else's, but... They go down in history books, ain't they? Liam and Josh, and it looks like it might be over for Liam for a bit, but Chris will bring him back if he can, but Josh has... I know Josh Wales fighting and do you know what I haven't said on channel because Dennis has said don't send out and he, he, he nearly said uh, uh, on radio the other day Mick and Josh but, but he ain't signed so we're not gonna mug us sends off but let me tell you this right all them people that have dug Dennis out well Dennis is digging in his pocket and he's investing in his fighter. That's what he does. And uh, I think confirmation's gonna be coming in the next three or four days, and I'll get an exclusive. And let me tell you this, people are gonna be on the knees. They're gonna be on the knees. The people, there's people that want Josh Whale to get beat. They want him to lose, so they can go, <laughs> But what they want him to lose. I mean, how bad is that? Dave Allen didn't come on my channel, did he? Because he wanted to get on Eddie Hearn's show. But you know what? I was here with me, with, with me Sky, with Sky Stream on, watching him uh, fight David Price, and I was devastated for him. Devastated. So, so I just think he's been used, Dave Allen. Should have been nowhere near Dillian White and Lewis Ortiz. He should have been wrapped in cotton wool and, and, and learn his craft and be brought on properly. Like they're doing with Tomlinson, Anthony Tomlinson. I want to see him in with Conor Ben. And uh, who's that other kid who, who's a bit flash but he's got no, no gonards? Adam Booth fighter, what's he called? Josh Kelly. I think Tomlinson beats Josh Kelly 
Uh, I don't know about Connor Ben. I don't know. It, the 50 50 fights for me, I think they're all same level, but they've got massive profiles, haven't they? I think t Connor Ben could walk onto one. He's all right hand, isn't he? Ain't got a jab for starters. So, anybody with a jab, I've spoke to experts in boxing who've trained world title winners and world title challengers. And I've said, what do you think about that? Anthony Tomlinson about Conor Ben. He said, I haven't seen much of Anthony Tomlinson, Russ, but Conor Ben, to beat him, you need a good jab. And that's it. A good jab beats Conor Ben. So, he's, Anthony Tomlinson's 11 and 0. You could say the first nine were learning his craft because he didn't have a long amateur career. But look at the profile Conor Ben's got. Getting what is he getting? 75 grand a fight? WBA international champion. He's beatable. He's beatable, Conor Ben. He's on a deal with J JD Sports, whereas every time he fights and wins, he gets a bonus. If he loses, his money goes down by X amount because he's got a loss on his record. So you nearly hit me then, mate. So he can be beat. Conor Ben can be beat. The other one, David Evanishian, beats him all day. They know that, don't they? That's why they haven't fought him. Now, uh, how, how much longer can the, the uh, have Conor... Uh, sorry, what's he called? What's that kid called now? Josh Kelly. I get him mixed up with all these Connors and Joshes and all sorts. I've got... I've got... That email I got with phone number, Connor Kelly. Connor Kelly. Connor Kelly, you're not on WhatsApp, so I ain't gonna phone you, mate. You, your phone ain't on WhatsApp. So, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing, mate? Look at that. Look at that, is it Midlet Road here? Look at that. You know why that is? Because this road is the worst road in the world. Look at that, I need a tin up there. Hey, bring me a tin up the next time, Mr. Range Rover. Ashton Lane, innit? Braithwell. Gimp Squad Lane. I don't wanna I don't wanna hit my wing mirror. Do I? Be a fortune. It's one of them folding in wing mirrors. There you go. They get a camera on me, it's not about it's about me channel. It's not about Anthony Joshua or Tyson Fury or Eddie it's about Big Pork. It's about the big pork, the waster, the ex-con. I'm only joking. It's only banter, it's only banter. So Connor Kelly, you've given me a phone number and you want me to ring you. Send me a video saying it's Connor. I sent you an email, Russ. And you obviously are paranoid and all that. Too right I'm paranoid. Too many people want my phone number and they want to put it on Twitter and stop my channel from going to the next level. Maybe I need to get a phone, just a normal phone for the channel, instead of my personal one. Maybe I need to do that. So when people start putting this number out I've got, I'll just go get another. And have that for me personally, not get anybody, just have it for me friends and family. People I do trust, because I don't trust anybody! You all want to ruin my channel! That's bottom line! That's the bottom line! That is the bottom line, they all want to ruin Big P, Big Pork. Hashtag pork is life, hashtag levels, hashtag winning, hashtag team whale, hashtag team obson, hashtag doing bits. That's my favourite one, doing bits. What do you reckon about that, Mr. Doing bits? Doing bits. That's what it's all about, doing fucking bits. Hey? Doing bits. Sweared again, didn't I? Oh, I want to get paid now. When you swear, you don't get a sausage. Not a sausage. Well, they get little sausages anyway off YouTube. Do you know what? I got 82p for an interview. For not an interview. For the. Oh, yeah, it was an interview. It were Peacock. For the Jimmy Tibbs thing. 82 pence. I went all the way to London, spent a fortune. I got 82p. Maybe I'm not a good businessman. <laughs> but do you know what? Nobody can take it off me, can they, that I met Jimmy Tibbs. 
I always wanted to go and say hello to him, but I were a bit scared in case he went, what the f*** are you? Do you know what? 